Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door, and I am back with hopefully the last video of the book packs. I'm hoping I can, it may not be the last video, it's according to how long it goes, so we'll see, but we'll try. So this is book pack number 23, again tied up with a pretty little ribbon, and this one is another one of those packs that are really, really old books, and whoever gets this pack, you're going to want to check and do your research um, before you do anything with these books. Because, well, we have this one, which is a withdrawn library book, Little Town on the Prairie. This is a Laura Ingalls Wilder um, book, and so these are normally worth money, and again, I haven't, it's called Little Town on the Prairie. I love that. I haven't been able to do my research on it. Copyright is 1941. It does have, you know, of course, your library stickers and markings. Let me see if it has the little library pocket in the back. No, nope, doesn't have the library pocket in the back. So, super cool little book. It has the really old um, vintage pages. You can tell they're browning. Um, it looks like maybe something was um, at some point spilled on it, but that adds to the character. And I absolutely love it because some of the pages are more yellowed and browned than others. There's a little bit of graphics in here, which are super cool, but not a whole lot. And then, of course, you get some of her handwriting, which I think is awesome. So, again, do your research on it if you get this book pack. Um, I'm letting a lot of treasures go, you guys. Um, but I don't mind sharing with y'all, and I know that you know, the Lord will bless me with more. So, super cool Laura Ingalls Wilder book here. And then this looks very unassuming, doesn't it? It's a Jane Eyre. Um, I haven't been able to do my research on it, and I'm probably going to regret that. It does have some inscriptions in it. And then, let me see. Sorry, I've got ink on my hands from my pen. Okay, copyright on this one says it was reprinted in November of 1943. So, super, super cool little book. I have been a very ginger uh, with this book because I have a sneaking suspicion that it's worth money. Um, I just haven't been able to take the time to do the research that I needed to do. Looks like it does have some ink markings here on this page. Um, we'll just kind of flip through and see if we see any more. So, again, if you get this book pack, um, you have the potential to get some very, very, very cool little books. They're very old. So, you have the Jane Eyre and the Little Town on the Prairie, and that is book pack 23. Next up, we have book pack number 24, tied with the pretty purple ribbon. And in this one, you get um, a little booklet from the National Audubon Society. Love, love, love these little books. This one is copyright 1955, and I believe it, I believe this one's about bugs and spiders. But I think this one's really, really cool because it has the little stamped pictures that someone either taped in or glued in throughout the book, and they have little notes. So this is water bugs, tiny water fleas, ew freshwater mussels, so it's not all bugs, but I just think it's a super cool little book. Um, I would love to know the history of this book. Look how yellow the pages are. Um, so I thought it would be a really, really cool book to add in. So you get the Audubon book, then you get this wonderful, um, whoever gets this, do some research on this one before you do anything with it, because this one could be worth money as well. Um, it is a um, reducing cookbook and I know that I saw a copyright somewhere let me see if I can find it I'm trying to be really easy because these pages are a little fragile let's see super cool so this is um, this is kind of I don't know maybe one of your first diet cookbooks because <laughs> it talks about being excessive overweight what is your ideal weight so I think that this might have been, you know, I'm sure it wasn't one of the first in whatever year this was. I'm not seeing a year. I thought I saw a copyright date on it. 
Oh, there it is. Copyright 1951. Okay. I knew I had seen one. So, anyway, super cool little cookbook here. Um, again, do your research on this one because it may be um, worth some money. But I absolutely love, love, love the pages. And look, you get a little insert and some sweet little lady's recipe. So, whatever inserts are in the books, I'll leave them in there. So, you get the, the cookbook, the Audubon. And then, I love these. It's a children's reader. I love, love, love when they do this. And so, these books I love because they're so versatile. You can do so much with these little book pages. Um, you can put them in just about any kind of journal you can think of. Um, they make great for ring binder pages as well. Tags, tucks, pockets, envelopes, collage, everything you can think of. So, a wonderful little children's reader here. Let me see if I can find a date for you. Copyright 1986. So, wonderful little book pack here. You get the children's reader, the super old cookbook, and the Audubon book. That is pack number 24. Oh, and I meant to bring it to your attention. The cover is missing off of the cookbook, okay? So, you just need to realize that you know it doesn't have the cover it's still all stapled together and bound um, but the cover is missing so just wanted to bring that to your attention because i didn't mention it before next up we have book pack number 25 this is another one of those book packs i thought would be really cool for dad so um you have one of those illustrated home library encyclopedias kind of like the ones i showed you before these have different end papers and let me find, I think these were super old, so let me find, looks like the, you know, it's been dog-eared. Um, 1955 is the copyright date. Look at that wonderful picture. You can tell it's from the 50s. So, super, super cool little encyclopedia. I love the pictures, and I love, love the way they use the colors throughout this little encyclopedia these to me look at the bird with a little bit of color um, these are my favorite kind and so having a hard time letting this one go but i will do it so i can make room for more goodness for you guys so anyways you get this one and this would make a wonderful wonderful journal cover that would be really cool for a father's day journal cover then you get one of these radio electronics um, magazines. It was 35 cents. It's from September of 1956, if you can see that. And so it has some really, really cool ads in it. It has that musty smell to it, but check out the ads. Wouldn't this be super cool um, to have these pages to put into like a Father's Day journal or even just a journal for a man? So I thought this would be super cool to share with you guys. Um, and I paid actually a pretty penny <laughs> for these little magazines. So, um, being generous. And then on the bottom, I thought I, you gotta have something feminine, right? <laughs> so, super cool little, um, little book here with these drawings. These would make awesome little journal pages, I think. And you could actually color them if you wanted to. Or you can use the book to learn how to paint if you want to. Um, completely up to you, but look how cool love 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 this and look somebody already practiced so i'm i think it, this is a treasure so i'm leaving it in there you can tell how very old it is so super cool little book that i thought i would add in just for the lady whoever buys it um in case they didn't want to just do father's day stuff so looks like the copyright on this is 1984 or 83 is the latest copyright so that is book pack number 25. Okay, next up we have book number 26. And I was going to let you know that when um, I just paused the video and I moved some books out of my craft room so I could have room for these to come in. And I found a whole other stack of floral books. So it may be more than one video. So I apologize, <laughs> but we'll get through them. All right. So this is book pack number six. This is another one of those books that I had marked um, to auction off. This one is Henry Edsmond and Thackeray. So this is another one of those cool little books. 
that is very vintage and it's poetry so for those poetry lovers out there you'll definitely want to do your um, research on these books and make sure um, you know that they're not worth money before you go ripping them up so um, I don't know where the um, copyright date is on it now but I know I did have this little sticky note on here so I found it in here somewhere it's from 1942 super yellowing this would make a beautiful journal cover if it's not worth money just saying <laughs> and then it has the wonderful matte thick buttery almost textured like pages and I don't think I see any drawings or illustrations in this one but again a wonderful wonderful book by a wonderful wonderful poet so there's that one and then this is another one of those deals that I thought would be cool for dad for a Father's Day journal um, and these are the popular mechanics illustrated home handyman encyclopedia and guide guys these are so cool I have a few of them I have one in, in several different packs um, copyright on this is 1961 and look in the back <laughs> how cool is this how funny is that you have this little insert that's put in here like a little ad a little magazine ad oh and it opens all the way up how cool is this so it's like a popular mechanics um poster so i think that is super super cool that that is included with the book and then like you know me i love the schematics i would totally use this in my journals but anyways you can use it in whatever journal you want to but i thought it would be super cool for a journal for dad and I love the way they mixed in the colors and the black and whites in this era so these are awesome awesome little books now I have not done my research on this one either so you might want to do research on this and see if possibly this is worth money I don't know so anyways that is book pack number 26 next up we have book pack number 27 and again this is a really cool one for Father's Day or whatever um, however, I had the little note here. I was going to auction this off in my um, live sale because it's a numbered print. And then look inside. It has these really, really cool pieces um, that are inserted in here. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to unfold them. I'll let you do that. But I will leave all the little pieces. Um, Willy bacteria. How funny is that? So funny. And then look at this old piece of mail. I love the little dog. How stinking cute is he? So you'll get that in here. And then you have these pages that are paper clipped together. Um, super cool old ads. Um, I'm not going to unfold them, but I'll let you play with them and do what you want to with it. So you get all that little nice little package um, tucked into the book. And then um, I know that this one, I believe, is worth money because it is a numbered print. It's from 1951, and so I think these are kind of highly sought after as well. Look how wonderfully yellowed the edges of these pages are. And you know me, I love the schematics and all of the, um, the how-tos and how things work and all that kind of stuff. And then you have a rusted paper clip that I'm not moving, um, but it is kind of... Um, it's in there and it's rusted so it stays so super cool little book if it's not worth money I would totally take this apart and use it in my journals just saying and then you get one of the um, you get volume 2 of the Home Handyman Popular Mechanics Guide same year and everything same type of book um, it's just a different volume super cool colors in this one as well and I think in this one you learn how to do bird houses. <laughs> so really, really super cool little book pack. Okay, so let me put these back in that book. So this is book pack number 27. Next up, we have book pack number 28. Super cool little pack here. So you get a good little variety in this pack. So first off, you get this Natural Sciences Illustrated. This is like a school reader, um, but it's in science. Um, somebody wrote in there, he wrote on the animals, burp, and I can't understand it. 
I think it must have been a boy because, you know, but it could be a girl. I don't know. <laughs> so I just thought that was quite comical that they wrote that in there. And then let me get the copyright date for you on this one. Is And this is a numbered book, actually. So this one might be worth money. I would do my research on this uh, because I don't think now that I'm looking at it, this was not... I don't believe it was a school reader. So anyways, do some research on this before you rip it up. Copyright date is 1959. You never know, right? So um, I'm just going to kind of go through. Um, and of course, somebody wrote in it, so I don't know who did it, but it's the, what they wrote is pretty comical. Um, really cool little pages. These are very old, very um, thick, thick pages. I love the aphids um, in here, so... Who will marry me? <laughs> uh, super funny little <laughs> little things that stand still, darling. I'm only trying to examine you. <laughs> oh, if nothing else, you're gonna get a good giggle <laughs> out of this little book. <laughs> so funny. So yes, someone silly wrote lots of things on the pages. But there are plenty of other pages <laughs> that you can use <laughs> throughout the book. So, this is a great little find, I'm telling you. I have giggled so much at this book. Um, then you get Volume 3. Um, this is the Mechanics Illustrated How to Do It Encyclopedia. Very much like the other ones. This one's copyright 1961. And um, I guess maybe... I don't know if this had a front leaf and a back leaf or not. It doesn't actually look like it, but then maybe it did. So, if it did, they're missing. Just so you know, they're not there. Um, but super cool. You can tell it's this era with the colors that they used in here. I love the schematics, and I love the colored schematic pages. I would totally use those as journal pages in my journals. And these are a really cool size. And I don't know. There's like, it smells like lotion for some reason. Um, so, it has kind of a, a lotion-y smell. I don't know why it smells like lotion, but it does. So, <laughs> ooh, there's something in there. We found a little treasure. Check it out. Let's see. It is a coupon for Little Frisky's Cat Food. I was trying to see if there was an expiration date on it so we could kind of tell what year it's from, but... I don't know, but it's for 10 cents. So you get a 10 cent coupon on some cat food in there if you like. <laughs> so you have that one. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then you have another one of these Radio Electronics um, magazines. This one is from July of 1956. It's kind of worn off. Somebody's left their little note in there, so I'll leave that for whoever gets it. Super cool little ads in this one, too. And again, I think it would be great for Dad. Um, you know, to add to your your dad journal pages uh, in a Father's Day journal or what have you. <laughs> Check her out with her lined pantyhose. <laughs> so, yeah, these are super cool little magazines. So, this is a pack number 28. Okay, next up we have pack number 29. Super cool little pack here. So, first off, you have this really cool music book so it has all the different chords and i think it's a um for to teach music uh, to teach piano so um i love the ones that have the colored titles in them there's one that's songbirds so it's super cool little music book here and then we have this one and when i saw this book again it had a very unassuming cover um you know the spine was not beautiful so I almost didn't get it, but I picked it up and looked at it anyway. And so when I opened it up, it's a super cool hist hist historical book. Um, I was trying to find the copyright date on it is 1955. And let me see if I can find the title of the book. Pictorial History of American Presidents. And I thought, nah, nobody's going to be interested in that. But then I flipped through the book. And I love that it has the library card still in it. Let me see when the last time. And the last time it was checked out was 1988. 
and over here it looks like 1988 so you still have the stamping on the library cards which i love but these pages you guys are so i would even totally use these index pages because they are so super cool these are thick enough to do mixed media on and it has some really cool ads in here like it has the, the chronology of the presidents which to me is a really cool historical book anyway um, but then it has some ads in here and little drawings of the presidents but anyways i think it's a super cool little history book and um, i absolutely love it and i was going to keep it for myself but again um, you guys know i have to clear out some space so but super super cool I mean, how beautiful super cool little book i love the handwriting here so um yeah there's wonderful pictures in here too um, some really, really pretty Victorian and, you know, the ladies with the big dresses. So, that is pack number 29. Next up, we have pack number 30. Super cool little pack here. You guys are going to love this. Let me just get a little bow off. All things glad and beautiful. You get a happy collection of favorite things. This is from the 70s, and you can totally tell it is a 70s style little book. <laughs> I love the images in it, though. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, copyright is 1973. So you have all these little poems and little um, sayings with the pretty little pictures. Um, that would be, these make perfect, perfect, and I love the different handwritings that you get. And um, these come out like as a double page, so they make the perfect, perfect little additions um, to make like a page. These are the perfect size to make a page in a journal. So you get that little book and then this one. And again, I almost didn't get this one, but I absolutely fell in love with it when I opened it up and took a peek. So let's see if I can find you a copyright date. So this was a school reader, or not a reader, but a school book. Copyright 1966, and this is the second printing, but it has really, really cool images in it. And it's kind of a semi-gloss page, um, really, really pretty pages in this book. So I love the colors. Again, that era, they used, they mixed the colors with the black and whites, and I absolutely love these pages. I would totally use these pages for everything that I would do in a journal. Tags, tucks, pockets, envelopes journal pages etc I would use them all and I absolutely love these and I have one that I will be using <laughs> in my journals so this one is book pack number 30 next up we have pack number 31 so I'm gonna go ahead and slide this out this one is um, a hymnal it is from 1975 and I love the pages in this one. I actually, you know, sometimes we love the really yellow pages, but I love the pristine white pages in this book. And I love the color of the pages edge. So beautiful, beautiful little hymnal. Um, again, 1975 edition. And then you guys, check this out. I know that I've heard that a lot of people are looking for this style of a dictionary with the little the little indentions in it so i thought i would offer this up it's a beautiful beautiful dictionary i would actually use this as a journal cover um, you know you can collage over this ink mark here um, reinforce the spine but i would definitely and i would leave it i would i would leave it with the old look just like that because i think it's gorgeous I love the inside uh, leaf pages, and let me see if I can find a copyright date for you. Um, looks like the last copyright date on it is 1949. So if this is a beautiful, beautiful little dictionary. I love that the indentions are a color, so they've added some red ink in there to help you find your little indentions. But it's just a vintage, just vintage dictionary, but it is a beautiful vintage dictionary so um, i wanted to add it into a pack oh and look somebody's put some notes in here school insurance okay looks like some school notes is what that 
possibly is. So I'm leaving that in there. So you have a gorgeous, gorgeous dictionary with the little indentions, 1949. Okay, and then the last piece of this one is, I'm giving up a Time Life magazine. And this one is a double issue. So before you do anything with this one, do some research on it. I haven't done any research on this one. It may be worth money. I know that sometimes the double issues are. Um, this one is the December 15th, 1972 issue. And it has wonderful, wonderful little pictures. Christmas pictures and ads. The ads alone, to me, make these life magazines worth it. I absolutely love them. And I love how yellow the pages are. So, I'm going to sacrifice um, one of these Time Life magazines for you guys. So, this would be super pretty pages in a Christmas journal. And then a lot of the ads you could, of course, use not in a Christmas journal. So, this one is very versatile. Um, I will tell you that the cover is loose. It's coming off. So, it's just barely hanging on. I'm not going to tape it because... I don't know if it's better or worse to do that. So I'm going to leave it and let you decide. But anyways, this one is book pack number 31. Next up is book pack number 32. Super cool little book pack. I'm going to pull this out first because it will make it easier to slide my ribbon off. So this one I absolutely love. This is a school music book. This is a teacher's edition. Let's see if I can find a date for you. Super, super cool little book here. It's for 5th, 4th, and 6th. 4th, 5th, and 6th graders. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's see. Do we have a copyright date? Oh, wow. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwelt therein. Psalm 24. So, you know, it's got to be pretty old because they were still allowed to have things like that. Um, in our school books. Okay, 1968 is the copyright date. But check it out. It's so stinking cool. I love this. It is a school music book. And I absolutely I love the images that are in here. But I love the way they've put this book together too. So super, super cool little um, school music book. So and it is a soft cover. You know, it's, it's you know, it's thick cardstock or what have you but it's the ring bound type so you get that one and then you get this beautiful butterflies like a coloring book so it looks like somebody has colored a couple of the pages but it teaches you how to draw the butterfly and then it gives you options of how to fill it in and how to color it and things like that so I thought it was just a cute little addition to add to this little pack and then someone um, had sent me a message and wanted um, things with old dogs in it so I had bought this book and I can't remember I can't find the email so anyway I'm gonna put this out here um, and offer it out to I love this cover oh my goodness that would make a beautiful journal cover so this one is uh, copyright 1972 super cool it's got um, looks like an address there and a name written in there but it's all of these books and pictures not books all of these pages and pictures of dogs and information on the dogs and things like that so I know she had emailed me and I thought she wanted it but then I never heard anything back and I've lost the email so here it is if you want it and if not whoever else wants it can claim it super cute little book so this is book pack number 32 Next up, we have book pack number 33, and I think this one's going to be the last one in this video so that the video's not too awful long, and then we'll try and make it up in the next video. So, this one is another super cool little book pack. Lots of vintage goodies in here for you. Let me take the ribbon off. So, this one is the American Hymnal. Very pretty front pages. I think this one's fairly old 1933 is when this hymnal is from very very beautiful hymnal gorgeous gorgeous pages and I love love how old it is so beautifully 
um, yellowed papers. And then this book here, I did not buy this book for the cover. Okay, let me just say that now. Okay, it is broken down tremendously. However, and, and it's, it's curved. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, it looks like maybe it got wet. But I thought the inside was super, super cool. So I went ahead and got it because check this out. It's from 1963 and it has all of these pages about stamps. How stinking cool are these pages? So, and it has them from every country you can imagine, I think. I mean, I'm seeing um, Hungary, Poland, Russia, Spain, Netherlands, Mozambique, Madagascar, Lithuania, Liberia. I mean, the list goes, I, I don't know. I think it's from every country. I can't say that for certain, but um, super, super, super cool pages. So, yes, the outside is in really bad shape, but the inside, the pages are awesome. So, it's, um, it's a standard postage and stamps catalog. The nations of Europe, Africa, and Asia and their colonies. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Just read, Diane, from 1962. And then you get this awesome, awesome, I paid a lot of money for these. Um, music brings joy to all the world. This is a music magazine from 1941. Super cool little ads. Trade in your old radio for a 1941 Philco. I love that. So it has some really, really cool ads and articles. And I actually think there's even some music in here. Um, but the guy that I bought these from, he was very proud of them. I will say that. <laughs> so I had to pay a pretty penny. Oh, it's Debussy. Love Debussy. Um, I had to pay a pretty penny to, uh, <laughs> to get it. But then you have music in here as well. Beautiful vintage music. And all kinds of goodness so this is a super cool little book pack right here because you get all of these really cool vintage books all in one pack and it is pack 33 so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and we'll come back with hopefully the last video if I can get everything in I know I do have quite a stack of floral books left that I forgot that was in my dining room table so, and then I have the children's books. So, uh, we'll do the best that we can, but I'm just trying to make little short videos so I don't wear you guys out, and so you can enjoy them a little better. So, anyways, don't forget to like the video if you will. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.